Why, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dad's Commentary coming at you with a top 10 video games for 2020. But with that out of the way, happy 2021. It is January 1st. If you guys do enjoy this video, please show me with a like. I'd appreciate it. Also, a subscribe. And if you want to talk about any of these games or play with me, you can play over at Twitch at Dad's Commentary. I will include a link in the description. So these video games that are on this list for the top 10, I just found on the internet, tried doing a little bit of research for them, and we will go through them and just talk about them, and I will react to them as I go. Some of these games I've actually never even heard of, so you may have heard of them, I have not heard of them. But anyway, with that being said, let's jump into this. Here we go with number 10. All right, guys, so coming in at number 10 is Doom. So it is Doom, Doom Eternal. And Doom Eternal is a 9 out of 10 on Steam. It's 4.5 out of 5 on GameStop. Um, so this was the 10 most popular game. The platforms you can play it on are PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and Series S, Microsoft Windows, and Google Stadia. I have not heard of that either, but the game's about... Uh, on the PlayStation Store, you get it for about $20. At GameStop, you can get it for $27.99. So it is a 4 out of 5. So that is Doom Eternal is our number 9 game. All right, let's jump into our number 8 game here real quick, guys. And it is Streets of Rage 4. I myself have never heard of this game. I'm not even sure what it is. But let's, it is a 9 out of 10 on Steam. 96% 96 like this video game. So Streets of Rage 4 is a beat-em-up game developed by Dodamu. And it's continuation of Sega Streets of Rage series. It was released in 2020s for Windows, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Mac. So as a gamer and a streamer, you'd think I would know what this game is, but I do not. So this game, uh, I should know a little bit more of Streets of Rage. So I guess let me know what you guys think of this game. Is this a game I should add to my arsenal? Is it one I should do? I don't have any idea if I should or not. So that is our number eight or number nine video game. All right, so let's jump into our number eight game, guys. Our number eight game is Final Fantasy VII Remake. So this is a 4.5 out of 5 at GameStop. Final Fantasy V Remake is a 2020 action role-playing game developed and published by Square Enix. It is the first in a planned series of games remake the 1997 PlayStation game Final Fantasy. So Final Fantasy was an original PlayStation title. I think it was a Nintendo too. So let's see what it's available. It's only available on PlayStation 4, so it's not even available on PlayStation 5. It was made with Unreal Engine, so a lot of video games are made with that. And you can get this game on the PlayStation Store for about $7.99 US. You get it for $20 at Best Buy, according to this information here on the Google. So that is our number eight game, is Final Fantasy VIII. So I have never played a Final Fantasy game. I've seen a lot of people play them. Um, the initial release date of this one was March 2nd, 2020, but I just have not played Final Fantasy. It's never been a game that I've enjoyed playing. I shouldn't say that because I've never tried it. I've just seen it from above, and I don't want to knock the community on it, but if you like that game, that is awesome. Let me know if it's something I should try. All right, our next game, our number seven one, is Ghost of Tashuma. And if I'm butchering the name of the game, I'm sorry. I've just never played it. This is a 4.7 out of 5 on GameStop. 96% of the people like this video game, so it's an action-adventure game developed by Sucker Punch Productions and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. Featuring an open world, it follows Jin Sekia, a samurai, on a quest to protect Tsunami Island during the first Mongol invasion of Japan. So you can check that game out. It was released July 17, 2020. And it is available only on PlayStation 4. I do have a PlayStation 4, so I could play the game. I just never have. So again, here's another one. Let me know what you guys think. So that is our number seven game, Ghost of Sushami or Tashami. I'm probably butchering it. I apologize. Forgive me. I'm just a human being here. All right, let's move on to our number six video game. Number six is The Last of Us Part 2. So The Last of Us Part 2, it has a 3.5 out of 5 on GameStop, but a 10.10 .10 on IGN.com. 58% of the people like this game. The Last of Us Part 2 is a 2020 action-adventure game 
developed by Naughty Dog and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment for PlayStation 4. So this is available on PlayStation 4. You can get it at GameStop for about $30. While they have it on uh, eBay for $129.99. I don't know what that's all about, but that's just on the Google. So that is The Last of Us Part 2. I have never played it. I have seen the image, so I'm sure I've seen it around. It's just one of the games I've never really been privy to play. So that is our number six game. All right, guys, I have heard of our number five game. I've, again, I never played this one. I'm starting to feel like I'm not even a real gamer. All these all these games on the list are, like, stuff that I have never personally played. <clears throat> I've just heard of them, but I've never played them. All right, let's jump into number five. Here we go. Number five is League of Legends. So League of Legends is an online game. This game is League of Legends is a 2009 multiplayer online battle arena video game developed and published by Riot Games for Microsoft Windows and Mac. Inspired by a modified version of Warcraft 3 called Defense of the Ancients, Riot founders sought to develop a standalone game in the same genre. <clears throat> so its initial release date was October 27, 2009. It is a multiplayer game. Multiplayer? Yeah, I'm saying that right. It's developed by Riot Games and is multiplayer. Well, I don't know why I feel like I'm saying that wrong, but I'm not. All right. So anyway, this is a 3.4 out of... It's got 3.4 audience rating summary. But this is number five on our list as popular games in 2020. All right, let's check out and see what the number four most popular game in 2020 is, guys. I don't think you'll be surprised with this one, or maybe you will. It is Grand Theft Auto. Now, I have played Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto is a game that I do have in my arsenal. I just don't play it very often, so it is the number four rated video game for 2020. <clears throat> it is a 9 out of 10 on Steam. 95% of the people like this game. So Grand Theft Auto V is a 2013 action-adventure game developed by Rockstar North and published by Rockstar. It is the first main entry in the Grand Theft Auto series since 2008 Grand Theft Auto 4. I almost feel like I... When I got Grand Theft Auto 4, I didn't realize gaming, and when I bought Grand Theft Auto 4, I bought that computer game, and I had a computer with no graphics card or anything. So I really didn't know anything, so I installed it, and it's like, this game won't work. I actually felt like an adult that could have cried at that time. But anyway, I was excited for Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, the platforms it's on is PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Xbox Series X, and Series S, PlayStation 5, and Microsoft Windows. So it's a mature game. You do need to be an adult to play this game. Um, it does. It is a 4.5. So this is a very popular game. So if you don't, if you have not played this game, I do, I do recommend it if you're an adult. Check it out. It's on all platforms. It's a good game. There's a lot of different things you can do. It's a huge open environment you can play on. I probably really don't need to tell you that because it's the number four game of 2020. All right, let's check out the number three game of 2020, guys. And this is one I have never heard of. Never nothing. Know nothing about it. So I do not have a Nintendo, though. I do actually have a Nintendo U, right? I don't think it's available on that, but we'll see. So Animal Crossing New Horizons. This is a 4.7 out of 5 at GameStop, and Target gives it a 4.3 out of 5. 95% like this video game. Animal Crossing's New Horizon is a life simulation game developed and published by Nintendo for the Nintendo Switch. It's the fifth main Animal Crossing game and was released on March 20, 2020. Wow, I have never heard of this game. It sells for about $40. You get it from $40 all the way up to $65. So I'd imagine there's some add-ons and stuff you can do to it. But this game probably will never be added to my arsenal just because it's not my thing. It doesn't mean I don't respect other people that play it. It's just probably a game I won't play because I'm going to have to get a Nintendo Switch. And I don't see that any time in my future. But hey, I guess you never know. <clears throat> Alright, so let's check out the number two most popular game in 2020. You guys ready for this one? You're gonna be you're gonna be shocked right off your mind. Right here. Here we go. Alright, guys, it's Minecraft. What? Minecraft. So Minecraft has been around for a long time as well. <clears throat> Minecraft is a sandbox video game developed by Mojang. The game was created by Marcus Notch. Persons in the Java programming language. 
So you can check that out on Winnipegia. The initial release date was May 17th, 2009. All right, so this is a bit the uh, let's see, this is available on several platforms. And I have played Minecraft very little. It just wasn't my thing. It's available in the App Store. I believe you can get it on PlayStation. You can get it on Xbox. You can get it on pretty much any console. You can get it on all your phones, stuff like that. So this is a very popular, popular video game. It's number two. That's how popular it is in 2020. But it's just not my thing. Um, but I don't have any problem with people who play this. So this is the number two popular game. I don't have a lot of information about it because I've really never played it. I bought it for my kids before. It's just something I didn't play. All right, guys. So the moment we've been waiting for, what is the most popular game in 2020? Mm. This game, if you guys know me and you've ever watched my channel, you'll know that I will agree with this 100%. I don't know if you guys are going to see this or not. I could have seen it going in a different direction, and I will explain why I'm surprised there's another game not on the list. But here it is, guys. This is our number one game. It is Call of Duty Warzone. What? No way, guys. Call of Duty Warzone. So Call of Duty Warzone is a free-to-play Battle Royale video game released on March 10th, 2020 for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Microsoft Windows. The game is part of the 2019 title Call of Duty Modern Warfare, but does not require purchase of it, and it is introduced during Season 2 of Modern Warfare content. So this video game is a 7 out of 10 on IGN. It is your number one video game for 2020, and I love this video game. I am a Call of Duty fanatic, guys. I am. I love Call of Duty. Um, I've always been a Call of Duty player. When I originally started my YouTube channel, I wanted to be a Call of Duty player. I played zombie stuff like that and the game kind of phased away but to come back and be on top like that actually gives me goosebumps I can't believe it I do love Call of Duty so I'm excited to see Call of Duty as the number one video game in 2020 if you guys have not played the Warzone it is free to download it is a massive game though it does take up a lot of space so hopefully Activision can do something or Inf uh, Infinity Ward or Activision they can do something on making it a little bit smaller on your hard drive it would be nice if they could do that because I wish more people could play it the game is beautiful the layout's nice and um, <laughs> that's just what I feel about it now some honorable mentions that didn't make the list. These ones surprised me as well. Um, number 11 would be Cyberpunk 2077. So that was a game that was just recently released and that is Cyberpunk 2027. And then number 12 would be Among Us. So I would have thought those would have been, at least Among Us, I would have thought would have been a little higher on the list. And there's also a game that I play a lot that isn't on the list and that is Fortnite. I would have thought Fortnite would have been in your top five for sure. Uh, Fortnite's an extremely popular game in my opinion, but I didn't make this list so it really doesn't matter. It's maybe I'm personally invested in the game because I am sponsored by Epic. So with that being said, if you guys do have Fortnite and you buy V-Bucks or anything like that, please use supporter creator code dads hyphen commentary as again, I am sponsored by Epic and proceeds of that will go back to help the channel. And if you guys did make it to the end, I appreciate it. Drop a like. Let me know in the comments if you agree with the list, if you don't agree, what you think the list would be. I also will include where I found the list in the description so you guys can go look at that. I'm just relaying it as I see it and reacting to it. Um, so it kind of is what it is. And again, if you guys do want to play with me, add me on Twitch, at Dad's Commentary. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more content like this. Hope you guys have an awesome 2021. They say that your book's not written yet for tomorrow. So whatever you make of it, you make of it. So make it a good year. Make it a good book. Make your life important. I appreciate you guys. Dad's Commentary out.